We're back. We're back. It's been years. Also, so there's that. Yesterday was my birthday. I'm 26, which is disturbing that I'm closer to 30 now, but it is what it is. Got a new phone. So the camera quality is superb. Um, but Braden and I are headed to church. Um, and then I'll fill you guys in on my birthday more, but we are doing a golf tea time. I think like 2.30. So I'm excited about that. Can you show us your breakfast? Uh -huh. cool. Breakfast of champions, ladies and gentlemen. It's the new Wheaties. Munchies. Hmm. So, birthday yesterday it was the perfect day. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Um, my friend Camry and I, we actually started the day with a 5K, which couldn't tell you last time I went running. Couldn't tell you. Not a clue. But, been doing F45, and I think, like, endurance wise, I was actually doing pretty good. And even my body was okay, but it definitely wasn't used to running. I'm used to cardio from F45, but I'm not used to like the pounding of the pavement. So I am so sore today. Like I had to use the handle to get into the car. It was bad. And then what did we do after? Oh, then we had a birthday brunch at 10 at Box Street Social. It was so cute, super fun. Um, food was fabulous. Company was even better. It was a perfect brunch. Um, then Brayden and I went and did some shopping. I got a new phone. Um, what else? Office oh yeah. Then, well, Brayden went and took a nap and I kept shopping. <laughs> and then we had a crawfish boil with some friends. It was the most perfect birthday and the weather was beautiful. And then we've got church and golf today. So it's been a great weekend. Hot take, can we normalize the stress, the unnecessary dramatic stress of picking photos for a photo dump? I've never posted a photo dump for this reason, but I kind of want to post one for a, like birthday weekend. Cannot pick. There's just so many good ones. <laughs> no, that's not even why. I just, I don't know what to include. My anxiety was not built for this. I am built different and it's not for a photo dump. Guess where we're going? <laughs> where are we going? Going golf. Going golfing. I'll probably play the front nine. Call it a day. This is like the first sport I've done or tried outside of gymnastics and one, I'm used to air conditioning and indoor sports, or indoor sport. So there's that. That's a whole can of worms in itself, is being outside is really hard for me. Um, but then the mental endurance that you need for golf, there's a reason professionals make it look easy. It's very hard, but it's very fun. Sounds like the weather. The weather's nice. The weather is very nice. It is a good point. It's 73, not a cloud in the sky. It's a little windy. It's perfect. It really is perfect weather. In other news, not entirely sponsored by Alani, but should be because I drink these constantly, which can't be good for you, but you know, it is what it is. Um, That's why they don't sponsor <laughs> That's why they should sponsor me. Talking bad about it. I'm not talking bad about it. It's an energy drink. But they're the best. Best in the business. This one's Rocket Pop. It tastes like, um, all rocket pop. The competitor. Comment below. What do you think? Do you guys like Celsius or Alani better? Alani is the right answer. You like you like Alani though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll catch up with y'all later. So I'm with Hallie. Hallie, say hello to the people. Hello. It is. We have declared it is not hot girl summer. It is golf girl summer. Absolutely. So, 
we're gonna grind out here and do our best and try not to lose many balls. Absolutely. That's the goal. Yeah. All right, folks, what's the goal today? The goal? Yeah. Beat Mark. Beat Mark. Okay, are you trying to shoot a certain number? Um, first time on the course, 85 would be very good. Okay, okay. Maybe eight Mark? I'd like to change my What's the goal today? Okay. Goal today? Yeah. It's not a good time. Oh, okay. Are we trying to break a certain number? Break a certain number? You know, I don't put those numbers in my He's head. trying to break 90. I just come out, yeah, I play the game, and it just happens. For sure. Yeah, yeah no, that's great. Yeah. Hallie, what's the goal today? The goal today? is to beat all of you guys. Yeah. Um, to lose less than three balls. Yeah, that's a good one. And to get another ball. Okay. I think for me personally, my biggest goal is to just not get mad. I just hit my first bogey. Pretty proud. Um, it's not a birdie, but I'll take it. It's better than nothing. I give you an 8 out of 10 for landing. Honestly, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. I think. But I can it Right. You got it, girl. Yes. 8 out of 10. Checking in. How are we doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. How are we feeling? What Two hole are we on? We're hole 5. Okay. Started out tough. Two pars in a row, so. Wait, how many did you get? Seven. Okay. Getting lucky. Okay, okay. I did an 8. How are we doing? How are we feeling? You know, sometimes it's just not in the bag. Yeah. But, you know. No, I get that. Trust me. I like a good comeback story. No. Nope. As much as the next. You're so right. This is what, look, got some. This is what I broke out. This is the par juice. Fueling. Yeah. Fueling of champions. Champions. Oh. oh. <laughs> Holly. And it rolled so close that you could just like. <laughs> it goes out to McKinney. The thing is, y'all, she really did that. She really did do that, and then it actually did go in. That was the shot of the day. <laughs> okay, Hallie. Yes. Tell me a fun fact about you. I am terrified about pickles. Terrified of pickles. Yeah. I actually did know that. Like, you can't even smell them. Um, also, my parents made me do karate or taekwondo. So I have a black belt in taekwondo. No, you don't. Let me show the picture. All right, listen, we are four hours deep. Literally four hours deep, and we're only on no. hole 12. Yes, it's just been a slow-paced day. The people in front of us, yeah, it's just it's just been a day. We um, waited for our cart girl to come for a It's two hours. Not her fault, necessarily. It's been a day. It's been a day. We've had to pee probably seven times. At least. Starting this golf game. So, we, we are, are done. Calling it quits. Done but the guys are still going strong. We yes. are at hole 12. We, we made it through hole 12. Here they are. Cute as ever. So, we're just checking in. Just trying to help with the pace of play. If but, you know anything about golf, we're helping everybody else. Out. Yeah, comment below any tips. Um, I've been hitting the ball unbelievably thin today. It, I mean, you might as well have called it bowling. So, there's that. You know what? I'm going to start a new thing. The okay. rest of the day. Each hole, we're gonna find new balls. So we're just gonna Same. search for balls. We're just we're gonna do a little Where's Waldo with golf balls. Yes. Okay. okay. Cool. Done. See how many we can find. I mean, like too many. Balls. No, that's uh, like, at least. We 20. just got like forty bucks in balls, so I didn't do so well. She crushed it. Great. How are we feeling? Concluding today's today's course, guys. You know what? The greens ate my life. Had a great time with great people. Okay. That's all you can ask for. Honestly, I feel I like that answer. Yeah. Brayden? Uh, it was okay. Okay. I mean, I, it played well. Putting was not good. Okay. The greenskeepers hey, were. Hey, uh, and you know what they say? What do they say? Chipping and putting. What do you know about? That's what they say. I don't know who they are, but that's what they say. Who? I, I don't know, but that's what they say. Chipping and putting is what makes you do well. You mean short game putting for dough? Yeah. Short, short game. Driving for show, putting for dough. Is that sure. What you mean? sure, 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 sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Holly, how do you feel about today's game? Well, I'm just going to count. Like two, <laughs> three, four. Five. Holly, honey, love you. I don't have time for all this. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Awesome. Okay, so Holly had a great day. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. 
Um, kind of forgot to close out the vlog. Um, and with my mommy, my new glasses, with our babies, honey, Biggie. Hi, guys. We just gave them pup pups. This is my first time having a pink drink. You guys are getting live. There it is. There it is. There it is. Awesome. So let me just, yeah, let me. Anyway, I'm gonna do a live reaction of first time having a pink drink. Okay, I would get it without the strawberry pieces because that just like was slimy in my mouth. But the taste is great. That's really good. Do you want to try it? Yeah. That's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's like a kind of like a watered down strawberry milkshake is what it tastes like. Yeah. Strawberry milk. <laughs> So Braden left this morning, which is so sad. Worst part, worst part. It's always so fun when your long distance partner gets here, but then it's super hard when they leave. Um, but I will see him in a month for a wedding um, down in Louisiana. So we've done a pretty good job of being able to like see each other pretty, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like monthly, we see each other. Um, and so I think that's pretty good considering our schedules. Look at my little Mickey cup. It's kind of weird to drink at it though because like the top is round and the, the opening's like on top. It's not like edged. If that makes sense. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Shayla got me this for my birthday. I think it's from Walmart, so um, I'll try to find it and put it on my Amazon storefront. I have an Amazon storefront. Um, I literally just um, started it, so you guys can check out my storefront. I will link it below. I'm trying to decide if I should just paint my nails or go get them done. I have this color, and that's what I had on earlier, but they were chipping, so I just took it all off. Y'all comment below, should I go get my nails done? I would just do shellac, or should I just paint them myself? Decisions. I'm gonna do some skincare and kind of get ready for the day. Um, but I've got, I don't have like a lot to do today. I have a very normal Monday. Um, let's see, okay. Um, I, just kind of need to like get my life together. When Braden comes to town or when anyone comes to town, you kind of just like get out of your routine, you know? And especially with it being um, my birthday, I kind of just like went all out, ate whatever I want, did whatever I want, um, did whatever I wanted. Um, so as fun as that was, I kind of feel like gross, you know? Um, Am I putting these on right? Because I swear some people like put the thicker side on the outside, but wouldn't it make more sense to go where there's more, like, this makes sense to me. I don't know how to explain it, but this makes more sense to me. This is very cold. Are these reusable? Let's see. Can't really see. Nope. One time use product. Yep. Like these are fun and they feel really nice, but I think they are a waste of money. Um, because it's a one time use and you probably pay, pay $5. Like that's going to add up if you get a couple, you know. One of my goals this month is to drink two and a half of these a day so a stanley or the, the size i have holds 40 ounces of water um so i think that's a good amount of water to be drinking um two and a half of them i used to make myself drink three but it was like a real like it was an uncomfortable challenge like i was chugging water and it did not feel good so i feel i feel good about two and a half because it's like it's doable and then if i drink more than two and a half awesome you know 
while I'm wearing these, I can't really do much more skincare, at least I'm not going to. Um, let me show you guys my planner and kind of how I start my mornings. I'm so excited about this camera quality. Like this is crazy. I had an 11 before, so it was safe to say it was time for an upgrade and the camera difference is incredible. I have a, I think I got a, I got the 14 Pro um, upgrade really worked out. Um, I had a good chunk of change to exchange it. So, um, but I just cannot get over this camera quality. Like that is, you can see my pores. Like that's crazy. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys like my lineup of things. I usually have been waking up, um, at like 6.15. I'll go get a workout in at F45 with some of my friends at 7.00. Um, and then I will go to a coffee shop and kind of get some work done. I posted this on my Instagram story maybe a few weeks ago. I was doing a Q&A, um, but I came across, well, I didn't come across anything. I don't know why I just said that. Um, I shared with you guys that I am actually in the process of getting my teaching certificate. So um, I am going to become a teacher, which is so weird. I never thought I would be a teacher. I never knew when kind of like my transition out of the gymnastics world um, would come, but it's just kind of making sense in my life right now. And as I'm getting older, um, I kind of crave something, something new and something different. And I'm still going to keep coaching and still have my meets and do all the things. Um, but just trying something new. Um, it's scary, but it's, it's been fun. Um, it's been nice to challenge myself and in a new realm of um, kind of the coaching side, but in like a teaching way, like in an educational way, you know? Ignore the partial closet. I don't have enough closet space. So, okay. So I just actually bought this devotional. Um, I love it. It's It's been really good. It's called Embraced by Lisa. Not gonna even try. Um, by Lisa. Lisa something. Um, but it's been really good. Um, this is 100 Devotions to Know God is Holding You Close. Um, kind of doesn't tell a story each day, but it definitely has like a little, like little narration situation happening. Um, kind of, she's just given an example in her life. Um, and then she shares a prayer and a um, Bible verse of the day. Um, so that's been good. It's been like relatable. So I love that. Um, getting back into my Bible, it's been a minute since I've been consistent with this. I use, um, a Hosanna Revival Bible. Um, I think I have like a, like a, there's different sizes and I have a big size. Um, but let me show you, I'll show you a page where there's, I have a good amount of notes on there just so you can see all the room, um, that you guys can have for taking notes. This is fun. Um, but there's all the, there's like lines on the side so you can take notes. Um, but I like the bigger Bible. It, it does stink if I'm like traveling because um, it is bigger, but they have other sizes um, and they're all hand painted, uh, which is super, super cool. Um, I think this one is absolutely beautiful, but love this Bible. Great Bible. Um, my friend Camry and I are keeping each other accountable um, getting in the word every day because I have been so slacking in that area. So comment below if you want to join us and stay accountable of getting in the word every day. Um, and then, so I've posted this on my Instagram. Um, so I stopped YouTube because I didn't really, I didn't care. Like I didn't care about it. Um, it was something fun for me to do when I was injured in college. It gave me not purpose, but it, it gave me something to do like you know my my goals had shifted my priorities had shifted being injured not being able to compete um so it just gave me kind of an outlet to share my story kind of document where I was at and that sort of thing and I think it really gave me a platform um and it let me get to know you guys and I've created kind of um my whole career really from that injury so super thankful for how that all turned out um anyway so I've never really been into YouTube, which is again, why I stopped because I didn't care. Um, but just wanting to get back into it, I guess, and try it out and see how things go. Um, but doing that and getting into YouTube, I, my sister Shayla showed me, um, this YouTuber, her name is Angie and 
I never watched any YouTubers. Like I, I didn't, I thought it was kind of weird that like people would just like watch other people's lives. But yet here I am filming one, like make no sense. Um, so she is a beach body coach. She, um, s super into fitness, super into health. Um, she loves Disney. She and her husband love Disney. They actually have a house in a very exclusive Disney neighborhood. That's besides the point. Um, she has a whole planner line that she created, but it's not like your everyday planner where you just plan, um, like your to-do list. It's a goal planner. So you, um, We'll write out your top 10 goals for the month and then write if you checked it off your top 10 to do's for the day your needle movers as she calls it like what can you do to get this much closer to your goal today um it just it's really cool it, it helps you stay accountable and it helps you kind of brainstorm of what you want to accomplish each month um, and how you can just really get this much better each day which i'm such a big fan of um so this has been a super cool tool to use um, it's called the daily grind. She has a podcast too. And she, again, has obviously a YouTube channel, but I love her because she's very relatable to me. I love Disney. I love fitness. Um, and I just feel like I am understood and, and she's, she's just really fun to watch. She's super fun. Um, I don't know where I was really going with that, but, oh, I guess just with the planner, but those are kind of my, um, that's my lineup in the morning. Um, well, the Bible and the devotional are a bit newer to the lineup just because I've been slacking. Um, but other than that, that's really all I got for you guys. I'm going to go get ready for my day. Um, I just, I really don't have too much. Just getting my life together. I'll probably meal prep and then, um, take a nap at some point because I love naps. And then I'll have a private lesson before practice starts and that's it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe I'm back. It's kind of weird. Um, I just want to see where I can go with this, I guess. Um, if I build something from it, great. If I don't, great. Don't really care. It is what it is. So thanks for watching. Um, I will see you guys soon, I guess.